friends, it is time to pray and to look up. Joel 3:14, multitudes, and multitudes of people's lives shall be in the balances, as the heads in the nations them that are running the world are preparing to go to war with Russia, and because of the war for land in Ukraine with Russia, and for the peace and security and the sovereignty of states' rights. Which could be characterized, in the Bible as the war in the valley of, Japheth or the valley of Eophit, a decision, that would bring the people of this world nearer to the brink of extinction, and to a day which Eluhimi, the Sovereign One, of all the heaven and the earth, has predicted, so many years ago, about the war of Japheth. And a day and an appointed time which he, would certainly come down from heaven to intervene, and at a time, and in a day which would bring in the judgment day of E, Eluhimi, and which could spell out the end of the world as we know it, and in that day, there would be the judgment, of E, Eluhimi, upon all the people that are in the world as the people in the nation them, are now fighting against one another, and as the people them in the world would leave off from fighting one another, and then they would begin to fight against E, and they would be refocusing their attention and their energy and their effort to fight against E Eluhimi, whom is E Elu, the Son, and whom is the Almighty E, and the Almighty One, whose glory resembles the Son, and whose coming would be opposed by all the nation them in the world. And then all the nation them in the world would begin to fight against E, and in a day and in a time when the nation them in the world, they all would be defeated as they would begin to fight against E, and to oppose the coming of E Eluhimi, whom is known as the Almighty E, and E, the Sovereign King and E, the Odd, and whom would be coming to establish E's, holy kingdom in the earth. And then all those who have started this provocation against E, they would see E's, judgment upon the earth, because this would bring down E's, wrath, and E's, judgment upon them, as E, would take all the kingdom of this world, at E's, coming and as he, would commence to reign them all in, as soon as he, come down from his, heaven to quell all the conflicts, in the world. Friends, I, now believe that we are all approaching the time of the end, a time when he, would return to rule his, world in righteousness. So, my friends, this is the time for us to look up and to pray, that we may be counted worthy to enter his, coming glorious kingdom because the world is rapidly derailing. And soon it would be too late, as the world would become engulfed in a full-blown nuclear war. My friends, this could be the time and the season for peace and negotiations and for ceasefire, before we all blow this whole wide world up into bits and pieces. Because it doesn't seems like a sensible outcome might be possible, as the nations them in the world, aren't so forgiving, and as they are full of hatred, against their own brothers, and as no one is ready to pursue peace, or a ceasefire in this war, a war which could bring total destruction to ease, world and the total desolation to certain region in the world, and this would bring death to a majority of the population, and to the animals and the sea life, and which could be spread to possibly many other nation in the world, or a war that could bring more crisis and more diseases, and death to the population of this world, and to all the people in the world, and this might even bring us to a point of no return, and to the end of life as we all know it, and this might even cause the extinction of millions wildlife and the deaths of untold innocent persons in the nation them, and also to the other nation them that are in the world, and to all those that would be. FAC. In the threat of nuclear winter and starvation and diseases and death and destruction. As this world would be plunged into total chaos, because as the world stands now, it is being being gradually being harvested by God God the administer of death, because the population of the world is being drastically decreased day by day and year by year. And as for the fulfillment of this Bible prophecy, which was prophesied by the prophet Joel it is now said, to come true, which is about the decision of the evil heads in this world, that have decided to go to war, because they have being misguided by Shaitan, and to bring about the total desolation of the world, and destruction, and death to many, and also the death of the animals and the marine life, as many of the sea creatures and many of the people in the world would be destroyed in a nuclear war. And when the nations them in the world would begin to fight, against, e, 
and in a war with NATO against Russia and against the sons of Japheth, whom are also known to be called E, Japheth or Eophit, and also in a war with the Medes, in the valley of Eophit, and because of the war for land conflict with Russia and Ukraine, and because of the opposition of NATO and its alliance, against Russia. And whom is pinning the East against the West, and East against the other countries in the world? Friends, it is certainly not a good feeling to be at war, because wartime is about death and destruction, but it is a time for us to begin to look up, because our redemption is nearer than when we first believe. And because he, I believe would be coming very soon, because he would not allow us to destroy his world. So, I believe he, would be coming to save us. And if and when there would be a nuclear war, then, I believe, he, would be coming to save us and also ease, world. Friends, for more information would you please follow the link below to my message which is called, The War with Russia, and the War with the Sons of Japheth and the Medes, in the Valley of, Eophid thank you, the end, to be continued.